Once you've experienced the benefits of training with power, the last thing you want to do is go back to riding without it. The good news is you can transfer your Rally RK or RS, or even Vector 3 spindles, to Rally XC pedal bodies, and vice versa. That way, you'll still be able to tap into reliable power data no matter what time of year it is, or where you're riding. You can even buy kits that only include the pedal body you're looking for, so you don't necessarily need to purchase a complete additional system. Start by removing the battery cap with a 4mm Allen wrench, and use your PH00 Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two small screws. On both the Rally 100 and Rally 200 series, the left pedal has standard threads and a silver nut. Loosen the spindle nut with a 12mm socket on a quarter inch drive by turning it to the left. Use a pedal wrench to keep the spindle from rotating. Slide out the spindle. Now you can install the spindle in any of the Rally RS, RK, or XC pedal bodies. Vector 3 pedals are compatible too. Install the inner seal with the cone end facing toward the crank. Press it down so it's flush against the bearing. Slide the second seal onto the shaft of the spindle with its cone facing toward the crank. Apply a good bit of grease to the bearing and push it into the pedal with a cotton swab or your finger. Then add a little bit along the spindle. Insert the spindle into the pedal body. Press the outside seal flush to the pedal body. Be careful to prevent the spindle from sliding out of the pedal body because it may dislodge the seals from their correct locations. Clean excess grease from the electrical connector on the end of the spindle and reinstall the spindle nut with the larger step toward the spindle. Again, using a pedal wrench to keep the spindle from turning, tighten the spindle nut with a 12 mm socket and torque it to 10 newton meters. Replace the battery board. Rotate to align the holes and reinstall the screws. The board should sit flush. Reinstall the batteries. The LED on the crank end of the spindle should illuminate to indicate the pedal has power. Repeat the procedure on the right pedal. Note that the right spindle has reverse threads and a black nut. You'll need to loosen the nut with a 12mm socket by turning it to the right, and tighten it by turning it to the left. Once you've reinstalled the pedals, you're ready to go for a ride. Thanks for watching.